Today's lesson will be about complement of a set. And without further ado, let us now start. For today, we'll be having a very quick game show. So let me read the mechanics. A set of crayons with different colors will be given. Then you will just identify the colors of the flags of different countries. So as you observe, we have eight different colors. And what are those? We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. So you will identify the colors of the given flag. For number one, we have the flag of Germany. Three, two, one. Identify the colors of that flag. That's correct. We have red, yellow, and black. Flag of Sweden. Three, two, one. Now identify the colors. That's correct. We have blue and yellow. Now how many colors were present? We have two. And how many colors are not? That's correct. We have six. For number three, flag of Senegal. Three, two, one. That's correct. We have green, yellow, and red. So how many colors? We have three. And how many colors were not used? That's correct. We have five. Let us define the complement of a set. The elements that are in the universal but not in the given set is called the complement of a set. And the complement of A will be denoted by A and apostrophe. So let us relate that to our game a while ago. As you observe, we have eight different colors. But only three colors can be seen on the flag of Germany. And what are those? We have the red, yellow, and black. Now, how many colors can be seen? That's correct. We have five. And what are those? The orange, green, blue, violet, and the brown. Now, these colors are part of the Germany's flag. And these colors are not part of the flag of Germany. And therefore, this will be the complement. To understand it further, let us have specific examples. Find the complement of the given set. From the given, our universal set has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And set B has the elements 4, 5, 6, and 7. While set C is an empty set. To get the complement of A, universal set minus set A. So we must list the elements of the universal set, which are 1 to 10. Then subtract the elements of set A, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now how are we going to do that? We must remove every element or elements in A that can be found in the universal set. And what are those? That's correct. We must remove 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 because that is also present in the universal set. And therefore, what are the elements left? That's correct. So the complement of A will be 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. To get the complement of B, universal set minus set B. Now, we must list the elements of the universal set, which are 1 to 10, minus the elements of set B, which are 4, 5, 6, and 7. So again, to subtract, we must remove every element in B that can be found in the universal set. And what are those? That's correct. We have 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, what are the elements left? That's correct, and that will be the complement of B, which are 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, and 10. And for the last one, to get the complement of C, universal set minus set C. So again, we must list the elements of the universal set, which are 1 to 10. Then subtract the elements of C, 
But notice that set C is an empty set, and therefore it has no elements. Now, what are the elements that we're going to remove? That's correct, we cannot remove any elements, and therefore the complement of C will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which is also equivalent to our universal set. It's easy, right? Well, you can pause the video and answer this. Find the complement of the given set. From the given set, we have the universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Our set A has the elements 1 and 2. And set B has the elements 1, 3, and 5. And set C has the element which is 4. So find the complement of the given set. Let's check your answers. So the complement of A will be 3, 4, and 5. The complement of B will be 2 and 4. And the complement of C will be 1, 2, 3, and 5. So if you got 3 out of 3, then very good. Let us now study intersection of sets using Venn diagram. So we need to find the complement of the given set using Venn diagram. From the given, our universal set has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Our set A has the elements 2 and 4. Set B has the elements 8, 10, and 12. And set C has the elements 2, 4, 8, and 10. So we must find the complement of A, the complement of B, and the complement of C. To get the complement of A using Venn diagram, we must illustrate our universal set. So it has the following elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So let us identify the elements of A. That's correct. We have 2 and 4. Now, to illustrate the complement of A, you have to remember its definition. And what is it? The elements that can be found in U but not in the given set. So, to illustrate it, we'll have this. As you observe, everything in the universal set but not in set A. And therefore, the shaded region will be the answer. And what are those elements on the shaded region? That's correct. And the complement of A will be 6, 8, 10, and 12. So we must find the complement of B by using the Venn diagram. Let us illustrate our universal set. So it has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Now, what are the elements of B? It's correct. We have 8, 10, and 12. So, again, to get the complement of B, those are the elements found in the universal set but not in B. And what are those? That's correct. Then, the shaded region will be the complement of B. And what are those elements on the shaded region? We have 2, 4, and 6. To get the complement of C using Venn diagram, let us illustrate the universal set who has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So let us identify the elements of C, which are 2, 4, 8, and 10. So again, to get the complement, everything in the universal set but not in C. And what are those? That's correct. As you observe, the shaded region will be the complement. And what are those elements? That's correct. We have 6 and 12. You can pause the video while answering this. Find the complement of the given set using the given. Our universal set has the elements 1 to 10. Our set A has the elements 8, 9, and 10. 
and set B has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Let's check your answers. So let us illustrate our universal set and our set A. So the universal set has the elements 1 to 10. And set A has the elements 8, 9, and 10. So again, to find the complement, everything in U but not in A. And what are those? That's correct. And therefore, what are the elements on the shaded region? That's correct. So the complement of A will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So check your answers. So let us illustrate B. Our universal set has the elements 1 to 10. And set B has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So again, to find the complement of B, everything in the universal set but not in B. And what are those? That's correct. So the shaded region has the following elements. And that will be the complement of B. And what are those? We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. I hope you learned. For your assignment, study about solving word problems involving sets. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!